Maya uh, is a graphic designer. <clears throat> she has been asked to design a logo for Mistletoe Farm, a place where Christmas trees and decorations are sold. The M of the mistletoe, uh, the M of the mistletoe can be modeled by two parabolas. The height of the logo can be taken from the x-axis and is measured in centimeters. The first parabola can be modeled by the equation y is equal to uh, minus x times x plus 4. So uh, what uh, Maya, I think I have pronounced the name correctly, Maya is to make a logo for a farm and you, she wants to uh, make a logo of the letter M. Okay, so the first part is, the first parabola can be modeled by the equation y is equal to x minus x times x plus 4. S sketch the graph on this, of this parabola on the grid below. So this is a grid if we want to draw the sketch of the first parabola. So an M, an M may look like this. So this is ultimately what she is planning to do. So this is one M and this is the other M. So when you're drawing a parabola, we need to find the x-intercept, the y-intercept, and the vertex. So x-intercept is when y is equal to 0. x-intercept you get when y is equal to, you set y equal to 0. So 0 is equal to minus x times x plus 4. So now I want you to think logically. So let me write this again. So this is the same as writing minus x times x plus 4 is equal to 0. So when can this expression become 0? Well, this can become 0 when x, this is 0, or this is 0. So logically, when one possibility is your x is 0. When x is 0, this whole thing will become 0 because because 0 times anything is 0. When would this become 0? If x plus 4 is 0, when would x plus 4 become 0? That is when x is equal to negative 4. So the two x-intercepts are negative 4 and plus 4. Uh, the intercepts are 0, one is 0, and the other is negative 4. Okay, so these are the two x-intercept. So to find the y-intercept, okay, to find the y-intercept, you have to set x is equal to 0. For y-intercept, you have to set x is equal to 0 in the equation. Okay, so I'll write the equation again. So y is equal to minus x times x plus 4. Okay, so we already know when x is 0, that's, let's do that. So that is minus 0 times 0 plus 4. You can't write minus 0. You can write minus 0. So minus 0 times 4 is 0. So your y-intercept is uh, 0. So your x and y-intercept are common. So this is your y-intercept. So this is your x-intercept and also your, this is your x-intercept and y-intercept. This is the other x-intercept. Okay, let me scroll this down, so I need more space here. So we, I may do this in the next uh, example. So yeah, uh, so we want to find the vertex. The vertex is halfway between the x-intercept. So I'll write xv, that the x-coordinate of the vertex is halfway. So halfway, the x-intercepts are zero and negative 4 and 0, so x-intercept should be negative 2. So let's do the maths, which is 0 plus negative 4 divided by 2, which is negative 4 divided by 2, which is negative 2. Your x-coordinate of the vertex is uh, negative 2. So your y-coordinate, so I'll write yv, is to put this back in the equation. So the equation, so let me write the equation. The equation is y is equal to minus x times x plus 4. So let us put that back in this equation. So this is uh, uh, this is minus 2 
and putting minus 2 in place of x times minus 2 plus 4. So you have to be very careful here, so you should not make mistake of sign. So this is minus 2 times 2, or you can use a calculator if you're not confident. So that is negative 4. So your vertex is negative, negative 2 comma, uh, it is negative 2, am I making some mistake here? Negative 2, it has to be an upside down parabola. So, what is the mistake? It's, oh yeah, I got you. So this is, this is why you have to have a sense of what's happening. So this doesn't, didn't make sense because your vertex has to be above because it's an upside down parabola. So can you tell me what mistake have I done? So it's minus x, so this should be, I should have put this in the bracket. So it is minus two like this. Okay, so this is negative, negative becomes positive, so this is 4. So a vertex is minus 2, comma 4. So let's plot the point. So this minus 2, comma 4 is here. Okay, and your parabola is upside down, and that's what I said. If you have the x-intercept, I know a minus. This minus tells me this should be upside down. So let's sketch the graph. So your parabola will be use a blue color. So the parabola go, would go, well, this is the maximum, and, and then you have to come down. So this is the equation of y is equal to minus x times x plus 4. Okay, in the next video, I will do the other questions.